back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, then I'm so happy to meet you. So, you know the drill. It's a Q and a so grab yourself a drink. Get yourself as comfortable as possible. And enjoy me answering your questions. So, question number one, right there. I needed that. Where, where are you from? I'm from the West Midlands. Nothing fancy, just the West Midlands. Question number two, city or, or country? Well, I live in a town, but if I had to choose, I'd probably choose country. Uh, yeah, I just find the country so peaceful. Sorry, I'm full of cold, so if I sound a little bit bunged up, it's because I've got a cold. If you had to pick one last meal, what would it be? Um, What would it be? It's a good one. I'd probably say a good curry. With nan bread, papa dams, or a very seasoned beef or chicken stew. Yeah. Next question. How long have you been doing Slimming World? And how much weight have you lost? See, when people ask me this, I find it hard to answer because I've been doing it off and on now for that long. Um, I've been doing it for, say, like, from day one. About six years, five, six years. Um, I yelled, yelled very much at the start. But then I sort of got my head together and lost, I lost three and a half stone before I become pregnant. Then I gained about four stone after having the baby, after having RJ. Um, I've yo I yo yelled for quite a long time. No, sorry, I lost a bear of stone in lockdown. Then I gained a bear of stone and a half. Then altogether, I think I've lost a stone and a half again. But I reset my programme back at Slimming World in the new year. So my new programme since the new year, I've lost nearly a stone. I'm two, two pound away from my stone again. So hopefully I'll get that soon. As soon as I'm better, I can get my mindset back into it again. How come it took you a long time to have a baby? Now, a lot of you... A lot of you do ask this question. There are a lot, lots of people that do ask. And I haven't really answered it. It's not because I don't want to. It's just that it's a very long story. I will do a separate vlog answering it properly. Um, I will do it very soon. It's just that it's a long story. But to cut that story short and answer that question. Because it has come up again. Um, it was between to do with being overweight, having PCOS, irregular periods, having periods for too long. Um, I know that's probably PM, um, too, too much too, too much information. But yeah, I'll explain all that properly in another vlog because it's just a long story. Um. That goes back to like Slimming World. Uh, I'll explain it properly in another vlog. I'll be confusing. But yeah, it, to do with PCOS and a lot of things, a lot of complications and stuff. Um, next question. What 
were, what year were you born and how old are you? So I was born in 1987 and I'll be 35 on Tuesday. This Tuesday is the 7th of June. 35? I can't believe I'm mid-30s. Oh my God. You usually have to Google my age because I forget it. <laughs> How many tattoos and piercings do you have? I have, right there, let me work them out. According to my calculation, I have 12 tattoos, I think. Yeah, about 12. Piercings, I have my ears, my lip, my tongue. And I did have my dermal done, which I will be getting that done again next week. So I have... A four piercings. Is that right? Yeah, about four piercings and 12 tattoos. I did have my nose pierced as well. But it came out when I had a cold years ago. Might get it on again soon, I don't know. Next question. If you could go anywhere on holiday in the world, where would you go? Um, years ago, I'd say abroad. Cuba, Malta, the Maldives. The Maldives is my dream holiday. But, I, I don't know, in the UK, I'd say down by the coast, like Cornwall and Devon and... Dorset and all them sort of places. How many tattoos and where and what do you have? How many tattoos? Where and what do you have? I have 12 tattoos. I have just answered that one. Um, I've got my son's name. Sorry, it's back to front because I've got your face viewing. It just says, Regan J, you are my heartbeat. I've got that duff. I've got a funny look looking bird here, which I hate it. Um, I've got Alp, Peace, Faith, Love and Belief. Rolled on my arm with two bowls. I've got Don't Judge My Journey Until You Know My Past. That was a cover-up. Very silly, sillyly, I had my ex-boyfriend's name tattooed on me years ago. Oh, I've got a bit red and hot. I've got an art of padlock on the back of my back. I don't know if you can see. I've got my dolphins as well. My very first tattoo, that one was. Um when I was about 16. Then I've got, I don't know if you'd be, I don't think you'd be able to see. But I've got like a padlock with a key and what ribbon and whatnot. It just says, I love you, mum and dad. I've got currently on a leg sleeve. I'll post a picture up to show you, if I remember. I should do. Um, I've got angel route on my foot. On my other leg, I've got like a hummingbird with some flowers. Next question. Do you have a middle name? I do. It's Louisa. Louise with an A. Louisa. Next question. What does your son's name, RJ, stand for? RJ. It stands for Regan J. It's double barrier, Regan J. Do you have pets and what do you have? In our household, we have two dogs, a Shih Tzu and a Border Collie. And there was two cats, but one passed away at Christmas time. Sadly, I do, I really miss him. And it's just, they were just black and white cats. Um, 
Yeah. Would you have any more children? A few of you asked me this as well. Um, I don't think I'd really plan any more because of all the complications I had with Rick and Jay. <coughs> Um, plus, like I said, it took me 16 years to get pregnant and there was so much heartbreak and stuff, but I'm going to explain all that in another vlog. So, the answer to that question, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then I'm not too fussed because I feel blessed with RJ. Holidays close to home or abroad? Years ago, I'd have said abroad. But nowadays, that don't faze me. Since lockdown, it just don't faze me whatsoever. So I'd say holidays close to home in the UK. What's your favourite colour? I like blue and orange. What's the furthest you've been away from home? Um, I'd probably say Tenerife. Uh, when I was a child, that was. Recently, Mallorca. That was back in 2016. So it's been a while since I've been on a plane. Do you live in a house or a flat? I live in a house. Tea or coffee? Coffee, 100%. I am a coffee addict. Have you had plastic surgery? What? Have you had plastic surgery or contemplating on having any? No. No, I don't have plastic surgery. Yes, I've had anaesthetics done. Well, I anaesthetic my lips. Admitting, ad, admittingly, I've had an anaesthetic. Is that right? You know what I mean, anyway. I've had my lips done. But plastic surgery? No. No, 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 no. Do I look like I've had plastic surgery? No offence to people that do. I'm just saying I haven't had any. And I don't think I would. So before anybody comes at me, I'm not being sarcastic about that. I just haven't had any. Uh, last question. How many... How many piercings and what do you have? I've already answered that one. My tongue, my lip, my ears. I did have three ears, three piercings down here. I did have two up here, but all of them have come out. I've just got the one now. Um, I did have my dermal done. There's a scar. I'm going to be getting that redone next week. I have my nose pierced. Years ago, it came out. I've had my lip done. I've got to get another ball because my original ball came out. I've got my tongue pierced. So, <coughs> I do have a few more questions, but I'm going to save them for my next one. Because I don't want it to be like super, super long. This is my first q and I enjoyed it, to be fair. So... If you want to ask a question, feel free and I'll put, I'll, we'll answer them in my next Q&A. Um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, if you want to ask a question, feel free. I shall answer them in my next Q&A. Oh, I feel really bunged up. Yeah, either ask me directly in the comments below. If you have my Instagram, you can either message me questions on there or look out for me, putting question boxes up. Then I'll save them all from there too. So, yeah, feel free to ask me anything you like and I'll answer it in my next one. Okay, lovelies, I'm going and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching and asking me all those questions. I, I've really enjoyed answering them. Um, yep, 
I'll see you in the next one. Bye.